Okay, I'm sitting here with Ken Betterton, and we're talking about the 2002 Olympics. So I know that you were doing some things with helicopters and making sure that the only people that were allowed to fly over them were the uh, TV crews, international ones, NBC, etc., and they had to have a trooper in each one. Well, along comes your supervisor after you spend all this time setting this up, and your supervisor pulls you out of that, even though you have it running very well. And what does he tell you? Set the story up for me, will you? Well, first thing, I'd be remiss if, if I didn't give the, the gentleman his proper title. It wasn't the supervisor. It was the commissioner of the Department of Safety. Yes. Uh, my, my dear, good, good friend, Robert Flowers. Thank you. There, there was an incident that took place with Apollo Ono. And as a result of the incident, we all know Apollo Ono. Yeah, go ahead. As a result of that incident, uh, we and Let, let's set that up though. What was that incident? He's no, in who, a he, Well, I, the majority of people know who Apollo Ono is. He was the he was the athlete of the 2002. Everybody Olympics. paid attention. He was on the front page of everything. Phenomenal. This athlete. is before he became a dancer, right? This is skating around. Go ahead. Short track skater. It's a it's a fast hard track. Gets tangled up with uh, with an individual from Korea. They both go down. Apollo recovers, breaks a barrier, and wins his first gold medal. First gold medal. As a result, the, the referees, the officials, reviewed the tape on it. The other skater was out of his lane, in, in Apollo's lane, and so they disqualified him. So there's a little upheaval. Uh, obviously, a lot, a lot of people not happy with that. And as a result, the intel, both federal and state, intel intercepted thousands of electronic death threats on Apollo. And so, you know, we're not going to take Wait, any risk. Wait, this guy gets disqualified. He's in the wrong. Apollo happens to win it, and he's getting death threats. Yeah, you know, that's a judgment call on... on <laughs> yeah, death threats is a little bit out there, but yeah, wow. I've seen people act almost like that at a Little League baseball game. So. Yeah, I know. But yeah, at the time, oh, at the time and the conditions that close after 9-11, we were very, very preventative. Yep. Uh, Commissioner Bob Flowers saw fit to put a bodyguard on him. And really and truly, I was the in-touch bodyguard with Apollo. I mean, you were his personal bodyguard. Personal bodyguard for from day six till the end of the Olympics. An honor. It was, it was an honor. And outside of me was a ring of Secret Service that watched me and watched him. So yep. I wasn't doing it alone. But the hands-on, yep. I was with Apollo. When he went to bed, I went to bed. When he went to practice, I went to practice. I, I had the privilege of really getting to know this phenomenal young man. So you were in the room father. right next to his room? Yeah. You were able to protect him? In a, with, a, with, in a break, a... with a breakaway wall. Breakaway wall. we get through the room and get to, get to the athlete. So, yeah. Uh, wow. It was, a, it was a great experience. Wow. Hey, Apollo, call me. I know Ken. <laughs> call me, will you? You can get right to me. I think the guy's fabulous. Wow, what a story, huh? Great story. Yeah.